Hey friend, John McLennan here, and if you're struggling with playing blues guitar solos like Eric Clapton, B.B. King, and Jimi Hendrix, then you're in the right place because in this video I want to share with you five must-know ways to start a blues solo. So let's get into the first lick here. We're in the key of A, okay? And if you have a blues in the key of A, you might think about this A bar chord, or you might think about an A7 chord, and we're actually going to start on this note that's right in that chord. It's the seventh fret of the A string, and I actually am going to begin with my pinky there, and then we're going to play the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then reach up with our pinky and grab the seventh fret of the fourth string. So, so far. Then we're gonna do a classic blues double stop. And this is where we play two notes at once. I'm gonna use my index finger and bar the fifth fret on the third and second strings. I'm gonna play those two notes together but immediately do a hammer down with my middle finger to the sixth fret on the third string. So I've got those two notes there, pluck it, hammer, and then we'll finish on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So all together it would sound like this. So I'm gonna take you through five of these blues kickoffs, but before we get into the rest of them, I wanna give you a gift that's really gonna help you out with your blues guitar solos. I put together a fretboard guide that shows you the five must-know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard. And this is so useful if you wanna jam along with your favorite blues recordings. You wanna have a system that makes it simple and gives you a way to unlock the fretboard. Board. So just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide and you can download it right there as my gift to you completely for free. So hope you enjoy that. All right, now this lick is gonna begin, you could start it on the turnaround and it would be a pickup that would go into the top of the blues. So let's say we were playing a feel like a Stormy Monday style blues. We might play something like this. So that's the first example. The second example does more of what I call outlining a major six chord. We're gonna start on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then we're gonna hammer from five to six on the third string. Then go to the second string and play five, seven, then go to the first string, five. So that's part of that outlining the six chord. It's gonna go. Then we're gonna do a classic kind of BB King and, and really a lot of blues players did this, but it's where you slide, you play the fifth fret of the first string, then you slide from eight to 10 on the second string, right after you play this. So, so it's gonna go. and I'm really envisioning that A chord there, or the A6 as the notes that you're sort of outlining. Here's what it sounds like coming out of that stormy Monday groove for the top of a solo. Example number three sounds great over a minor blues chord progression, but of course it works great over a major as well. We're gonna start out on the seventh fret of the third string. We're gonna bend that note up. Then we're gonna grab with our index finger the fifth fret on the second string and the fifth fret also on the first string. We've got this really classic, I call it the launching point lick. Then we're gonna slide from eight to 10 on the second string. 
just like what we did in the previous lick, so. Here's what it sounds like coming out of that stormy Monday turnaround. And then you're in there at the top of your blues solo. So that's a great kickoff. Let's look at example four next. And this one uses just some classic notes here from the pentatonic scale. We're gonna start on the fifth fret of the second string, then go up to eight and give a little blues bend, just a little push on the note. Then go to the fifth fret of the first string, then go up to eight and do another little bend on the first string and return back to five on the first string. So that's the note A there, your root note. Now this starts on the and of three, we're gonna count one, two, three. And then coming out of the Stormy Monday turnaround, it would sound like this. Let's look at one more, example number five here, and this moves higher up the neck. We're still in the key of A. I stole this one from Peter Green, but I think he stole it from B.B. King. Here's what it sounds like. We're gonna play the ninth fret of the third string, then go to 11, then play 10 on the second string, then we're gonna reach up to 12, do a bend, goes up a whole step, we're gonna bring it back down and then push it back up again like this. Now the first couple notes here, the nine, 11, and 10, you can play very staccato, like. So I'm keeping those short and then I let the bend ring. All together with some backing, it could sound like this. So the idea here is to steal some of these lines and see if you can drop them in, literally like planned improvisation in your solos and just start messing with them and what's gonna happen is you're gonna start internalizing this vocabulary and then you'll edit the rhythms and, and you'll mess with them and make them your own but start by just copying it and hopefully this will give you some ideas and give you some fuel for your solos and also just inspire you. Instead of me showing you a bunch of exercises, I want you to immediately get to playing the music. So that's what I'm all about here. And remember to put this together even more, grab my fretboard guide. This is gonna show you how I connect the chords and scales together. And it's gonna show you the five must know pentatonic patterns and your major scales. It's all on one page. You can get it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide as my gift to you. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And for more blues guitar, check out this video next.